Most people's sort of vision of AR is Tom Cruise in Minority Report or Iron Man's augmented headset. This is something that NASA were already doing back in 1999. We'll start sort of with this. It sounds like a simple question, what is AR that we get asked? Is it simply data layers that augment something you're looking at? Is it as simple as just something silly we do in social to share with our mates? And this is sort of quite a nice example of how there is no right answer to these things and that these worlds interlink. When Apple starts to talk about things like people are going to have AR experiences every day as common as they have three meals a day, you know something is being developed at that air end. It's a big industry, something that turns from a $5 billion industry in 2014 to a $300 billion industry just for the applications, let alone devices. Socially, it is going to be the place where AR and probably VR take off. Facebook announced at F8 that they are already in beta with a sort of a, a VR hangouts place. AR always used to be marker-based tracking. We first saw QR code and a bit of paper that you held your phone up and you got a little dancing zebra or something like that. What the stuff I'm talking about today much more is markerless tracking. I can just scan a room and my device can work out where hard surfaces are and I can put things on them. This is a nice example to start with of markerless tracking. This is a project we made for the World Wildlife Fund. It's a tour through a rainforest in a museum, so I can walk around, and as I walk around, if I walk past a pole in the museum, that pole becomes a tree. So actually, if I put my hand and touch it, I'm touching something physical where the tree is. This is an idea of introducing characters within locations. We did a cool thing for a company called Telia, and they wanted to present with a virtual co-host. So we created this little character called Eilert. This is sort of a very, a very nice example of that we did for Pete's Dragon. This is an augmented game of hide and seek. Children have to walk around their house and the app will say, right, we've got, we're looking for Elliot the dragon. Is he behind the sofa? Hugely fun, hugely exciting. Kids loved playing this. These little moments of magic when you just pick up something, it makes you smile, it makes you laugh. Augmented reality has a perfect way to do that. Facebook introduced filters. The interesting thing about filters is suddenly the AR experience and the place where you share it are the same place. Obviously on the same day, Snapchat launched World Lenses. This is the year when actually AR can have real sort of relevance to people who are outside our industry seeing it every single day.